Hey guys, it's Laura Goodrow with Esborn Reading Corner and today we are taking a look into some of our brand new non-fiction books that have just come out in January of 2018. Alright, so the one we're going to start with is actually one that came out in the fall, but it's new to this catalog. So that means that even though it came out in the fall, it's never been in a catalog before. It's What's Above. And if you have What's Below, then you're already familiar with how this works. It's the kind of sequel to that. Um, it's a great pop-up book. Non-fiction pop-up book. Unique, right? So fun. And look, when it pops up, ta-da! You're going to see everything above the pond. Here, what are we going to find? In the treetops, in the canopy, in the rainforest. And in the other one, you see what's um, below the canopy in the rainforest. So fun. In the other one, you see what's below a city. So here you've got all the rooftops that you can check out. So, so fun. And then, ah, look at all the mountains. So fun. And like I said, this is nonfiction. So it's a great engaging way um, to impart some of that knowledge to your kids. So if you maybe have a reluctant reader, someone who's not so keen on reading, this is really engaging and might just get them excited about reading. It is $15.99 and like I said, it's got um, What's Below as a companion. So if you already have that or if you're looking for something a little more in depth, maybe get the two together for a pairing. So fun. Next up, I'm going to show you Here and There. I love this book. I just so love it. Um, I'm really excited because the preschool that we sent our daughter to has a real international focus. They really do try to teach the kids um, different cultures from around the world, different holidays, different ways of doing things, and that is what this book is all about. So you're going to go through different countries and see how they each buy groceries. Grocery shopping in North America, in Indonesia, grocery playing outdoors, so fun, playing outdoors in Norway, in Hong Kong, traveling to school, all the different ways that children travel to school. So I absolutely love that. It's going to teach our kids, you know, there's no right or wrong way to do something. There's only different, and different's not bad. We can learn a lot from differences. Um, so I think that is really, really fantastic. It's also going to pair well with our new activity book, Mazes from Around the World. So you can talk about the cultures in here and there, and then do the mazes from the real places, or from the places in that one. So much fun. Here and there is $12.99. And y'all, they also have things like holidays, like Diwali and Christmas and Hanukkah. They have the different ways different cultures celebrate New Year's. It's really, really cool. Now, this one, 50 States in Every Vehicle, is nonfiction-ish, okay? It is a story about a family who goes on a car trip across the United States. Um, and through they go through every single state and they talk about what that state is kind of known for. Um, so each state can be kind of brief, um, but here you can see the map of everywhere that they're going to go. They're in their little camper. At one point, um, the mom and one of the kids goes on an airplane, so they go in a different part of the world and then they meet the dad and the other kids in somewhere else. So that's kind of how they're able to go through all 50. Um, so it's just really cool to go through and learn about different things in different in different states um, with the little story that goes along with it. So this one is $12.99. Y'all, this would be great with military families. This would be perfect to pair with um, Shine a Light, US Secrets of the USA, or See Inside New York, or any of those great um, books like that. We have two brand new Shine a Light books. We have At the Hospital and we have On the Farm. So this one is going to be really fantastic for anyone who has an upcoming hospital visit or is currently in the hospital. Maybe someone's having tubes, maybe someone's having their tonsils out, maybe someone's mommy is going to have a baby and they're nervous about their mom 
checking into the hospital. So you shine it as with all of our shine -a light books, you shine your flashlight behind the page and the new image appears. Um, what I really love about these, they're perfect for bedtime because of course you get to use your flashlight and what kid doesn't want to play with their flashlight at night. Um, but you're going to have a very simple line of text at the top, a nurse has brought the woman to the labor and delivery unit. And then at the bottom you're going to have a question. So the kids are going to try to discover the answer to the question by shining the flashlight. Take a look inside. Uh, for this one, let's just take a look. What room are they in here? Um, so they're going to shine that light and they're checking out what they're doing, which at children's hospitals they do have these fun play rooms. They're in the playroom. There are toys and games for patients to play with. It's fun. So that kind of gets them kind of comfortable and knowing what's going to come up if you do have a hospital stay in your future. Um, but again, I love it. Ask the question. You shine the light. You kind of see what you discover. And then on the back, it's going to give you some more information about what you've just discovered. So I absolutely love these. Maybe you work in a hospital, either a doctor, a nurse, or whatever, and your kids are very interested in that. Um, this would be a great one to have for you. Um, all of our Shine Lights are $12.99. And then finally, I want to show you one of our Lift the Flap nonfictions that came out in the fall, but again, is brand new to this catalog. Um, we were all so excited to get it. It's Lift the Flap Periodic Table, and it is fabulous. I absolutely adore it. Um, it is for kind of maybe middle elementary um, going on up. It is rather advanced. There are a lot of words, a lot of flaps, um, dealing with advanced material. Um, so I would say start around seven or eight uh, with this and then go up from there. So it's going to talk, start with what is the periodic table. It's going to go through everything you need to know about just the basics of what it is. And then the next page, we have the periodic table, which y'all, I don't know about you, but it's looking a bit more filled in than it did when I was in 11th grade and taking chemistry. <laughs> so it's going to go through each of the different types of elements. And you lift the flaps to see all of these in blue fizz and bang, and some of them cause explosions. Find out more on pages five and six. All of the gray ones here, let's see. The middle section of the table contains hard, shiny metals called transition metals. Turn to page 7 and 8 to find out more. So I love how it tells you what each color kind of represents, and then when you turn the page, it's going to focus on the elements in that section of the table. How fun is that? And then for each element, there's going to be a fun little flip down that you're going to, or the flap, that they're going to be able to discover what it does, how you can use it, where you can find it, um, all of that kind of thing. So much Oh, this one talks about a lot of the reactive metals produce colorful flames when they're burned. How fun is that for little kids to learn? Oh, I absolutely love it. If you have any kind of science background, you're going to love it too. So much fun! And again, I love how it's all color coded. It's easy for kids to go back and say, okay, yeah, I remember. And then at the top of each page, it highlights where those elements came from. So they are always able to reference back and know exactly what they're looking at. So, so much fun. I highly recommend it. Maybe your kid's not old enough yet. Psh, neither's mine. I bought it for me. <laughs> it's so fun. It's $14.99. Thank you guys so much for tuning in for another one of my videos. You can find all of these uh, nonfiction titles and more on my website at www.esbornreadingcorner.com. Thanks guys!